It's important to set the stage for the following video. We know virtually nothing about astronomy, which for me should be embarrassing since my father was a rocket scientist. Our goal was to see if we can put a sub to our camera on a telescope and use it to capture images of the moon at 60 frames per second. We started with a Unitron Model 114 D60 F900 telescope from the late 50s, maybe early 60s. I bought it over 20 years ago at a garage sale for 30 bucks. I thought it looked cool. It's been buried in storage for over a decade. We bought a 12 millimeter to 1.25 inch adapter for 14 bucks, dusted off the scope, and we figured we were ready to go. We are streaming uncompressed raw YUV video at 60 frames per second. There is no post-processing to the image, which means no software enhancement. We use our own UI, which controls the registers on the sensor chip, affecting the image before it leaves the sensor. We shot this on our deck above the 2R1Y lab in San Francisco, California on July 18th and 19th. We learned a few things. If Rube Goldberg had built a telescope, it might have looked like this. Stuff in the sky moves very quickly. There's a reason there are no observatories in San Francisco. The fog here even has a name, Carl. And yes, we were in such a hurry, there is dust on the sensor. We've also made no corrections for image orientation. Using a six buck solar filter from Amazon, we captured the sun. The Unitron with a solar filter and a sub to our camera watching the sunset. moments before the sun sets on the Pacific Ocean. A Celestron, a sub to our camera, and the Unitron patiently wait for the sun to set and the moon to rise. Sunset captured at 60 frames per second. A rare and beautiful night in the city, but a heck of a lot of atmosphere to try and film through. The moon over the Pacific with Venus and Saturn or Jupiter to the right. The sub to our camera captures this scene in virtually no light at 60 frames per second. Notice the plane in the upper right, and that's Jupiter or Saturn to the right of Venus. The same scene using a lens without an IR cutout filter. The only thing missing is the theme from 2001 A Space Odyssey. Venus. A very bright star which hung almost directly above us. I have to say our little camera is amazingly adaptable. 